what is up monotypers today is another day for a video and today i'll be doing oh yeah also you probably noticed but this is in a talk show format now uh i'm not really going to be doing most of the uh gameplay based videos as much anymore because obviously we're in a lull in monotype right now there's not really a lot of tournaments going on there's not really a lot to talk about and resource wise i can't really do anything yet because i'm still like moving into college and trying to get used to things so We'll see how things go, but for now, this is going to be the format we use. Anyway, let's move on to the first topic, and my first topic is definitely going to be form projects and monotypes. So, form projects have been on the decline. Well, they're pretty much dead in monotype right now, and the main reason being uh, no one really wants to do them because there's no reason to do them. I mean, really. Let's take CLC, which is a project I run, for example. Uh, you basically go into a restricted metagame and have even more restrictions and then you have to go on the ladder and play a bunch of that ladder which is known to be one of the worst ladders in all smoke on and it's just a bad time it's a really bad time and if the reward for all your hard work and dedication to that and having to persevere through all that nonsense is just getting your name on a board that nobody reads it's not a good look not a good look at all so yeah i decided to propose today actually and you can see my post here yeah. you can see from my post here that uh uh i basically talked about adding a tournament and adding uh, points towards the ribbon for my project, basically if they participated. And this would eventually just get people to, this would get more people to actually do participate in the project and to actually do participate in the forum scene a lot more and actually try out like new strategies. Cause the goal of my project was basically to get people to like open their eyes and not really stay stuck to the same, same old teams and the same old strategies, but to actually look at the amount of Pokemon we have, look at the C ranks, look at the D ranks, see what they do, see how they function, and see how these different archetypes of the many different types in the game function. And it's just really, really cool. And that's the main reason why I like CLC, is because it gives you a way to look at types differently and to see how many different ways you can run it. That being said though, um, this idea was still rejected because obviously there's like a lot of logistical issues and uh, generally it's just a second MLT but with extra steps and frankly no one's a fan of that and I'm not even a fan of that personally but I just really wanted to get something out there just to try and get uh, this project to get revived and then it was recommended to me by the sim I believe or actually it was recommended by Chaitanya here that if I wanted to continue the project, I would have to do it without the ripping part, and we would look into offering other prizes, like maybe a room voice. Now this would get people interested, because having a room voice is a very, very big boon to a lot of people. So, I would definitely say that giving them, getting people room voice is a, something that uh, I feel people would really really want especially after a project because if you put on all that work and you become a room voice because of it and you end up keeping the room voice because you did such a good such a good job as voice then all that work was worth it <laughs> so yeah um also it's just a fun little tournament i get to manage and uh in general it's just a really fun fun activity for everyone to do so yeah um also, I can brought up some other ideas, but we won't talk about that. Uh, but yeah. So that's what I could do for my project. But are we just gonna do that for every project now? And that's kind of that's kind of the issue because like there's so many projects that we could do, but it's very hard to keep them active because unlike in OU, we don't have a super active player base, and our player base is just kind of dying slowly. But uh, yeah. I think that's all I pretty much wanted to talk about. <laughs> Just like talking about like how uh, 
horror projects just cannot survive nowadays because of people really want just an instant reward and not really just bragging rights. People really want something physical, something tangible to hold on to after all their work. So, especially in these times, um, yeah, I think the stakes need to be increased in order for foreign projects to actually survive at this state. So, those are just my two cents. If you guys want to add anything in the comments below, feel free. Um, but yeah, I think that's pretty much all I have to talk about for today, uh, regarding this topic. So yeah, um, I guess I'll see you guys next time. Uh, I think the next time we might talk about something a little bit more interesting than this. Hopefully I get to show some games or something or some graphics, but yeah. Thank you guys for tuning in, and I'll see you guys next time.